thy loving kindness. I am fairly certain that Martin Luther said, or was reported to have said, something along the lines of, if you want to know the greatness of the Lord's grace and mercy, then be a great sinner. Now, he was not saying that we should actually go out and freely and willfully sin, as much as our sinful natures would love such. Luther, if he said that, was simply pointing out that we understand and know in our hearts and minds that there is not a word nor a thought nor a deed we do that is free from any and all sin that we freely confess the things we have spoken of in the previous devotions, that we are dead in sin, that we, apart from faith, can only sin, no matter how outwardly good we may be, that by reason of our sins we should be burned at the stake in hell forever. So seeing and so knowing how rich and comforting the gospel of forgiveness becomes and is. How greatly shines the loving kindness of the Lord toward us, as Jeremiah stated. Through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed, they are new every morning. How joyful Adam and Eve had to be when standing there before God and while they did receive earthly consequences of their sin, instead of eternal rejection, God gave them that promise of the seed of the woman who would destroy the power of the devil. What a great relief, what great joy, what a first-hand view of the Lord's loving kindness. They were standing face to face with the Almighty God, and He forgave the iniquity of their sins. The magnitude of the Lord's loving kindness had to be for them unbelievable. You mean, I'm not going to suffer the eternal consequences of what I have done? No, you will not believe in the promise of the seed and you will be saved and that very promise given there in Eden to them carried with it the faith to believe oh that we would ponder this well and marvel in the greatness of the promises of God given in loving kindness and for no other reason and that he does not delight in the death of the sinner, and through Jesus has redeemed all sinners from eternal hell, even us, even me. He has the right to, but doesn't. He could, but he didn't. How great and many, like the sands on the seashore, are our sins against him, he washes them all away for Jesus' sake. This and such is the loving kindness of our Lord for Jesus' sake. Oh, grant me faith to believe in Jesus. Amen.